You should not go about frightening respectable gentlemen, young man. I didn't realize snooping around was considered gentlemanly. Snooping? Sir, I assure you, keep vigilant. Quick, inside. That was too close a call. You, young man, gave me quite a fright. I thought you were one of them. But I realize now why you're here. Same reason I am, I imagine. I imagine? You should see this. <laughs> well done, dear boy. Well done. Charles Darwin, delighted to make your acquaintance. Jacob Fry, the pleasure's all mine. <laughs> While you were busy wreaking havoc, I found this. It indicates that a sample of every batch has been sent to Lambeth Asylum. Oh, I wonder if it's visiting hours. Don't be so hasty, Mr. Fry. Many people work at Lambeth. You wouldn't want to attract unwanted attention. Mm. Where's the fun in that? Not every problem can be solved by blowing things sky high. Sometimes a little discretion is in order. It's getting late. I will meet you at the asylum to continue our investigation. I have told you before, sir, I had nothing to do with that anonymous article. Nothing, I say. That is a lie, sir. And you know it. Bah, I don't have time for this nonsense. Nonsense? It is my name and reputation you have willfully besmirched, sir. My very name. Bah! <laughs> drive, damn you, drive. <laughs> that is Richard Owen. A vile, despicable wretch of a man. Really? I could have sworn you were close friends. <laughs> Mr. Owen works at the asylum. He will know who made the syrup. Get him. Stop! For pity's sake, stop! And I would tell you everything I know! Oh! Dr. Elliotson! Dr. John Elliotson! He formulated the elixir! He's the man you want, not me! I beg you, good sir, stop this madness! Now, was that so hard? Yes! <laughs> 